Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about how do you take a geometric form and change it, warp it, twist it, and make it awesome. All right, today we're going to work on drawing some geometric forms. But this time, I'm going to show you how to change them and manipulate them, warp them, so we can use them for different drawings. So this is what we talk, call a rectangular prism. Um, when I'm drawing this, I'm using that parallel line rule I was talking about in the last video. So I have this line, and this line, and this line, all should be parallel, okay? As well as this line, and this line. And my verticals should be parallel as well, okay? For your standard rectangular prism, okay? However, if you want to change it, what you can do, instead of doing a straight line, so like we have one that's back here, I'm gonna do a curved line. Then another curved line, okay, following the same curve, curvature of it, contour of it. And then do my third line here, which gives us that side of that bent, changed rectangular prism, okay. last video I taught you how to draw a cube like this right so we have a square and then another square okay and then I'm gonna connect those two squares together then check my parallel lines so my vertical should be parallel my diagonal should be parallel and my horizontal line should be parallel here Okay. And then we erase the inside part to give us just a solid cube segment. Okay, so what I'm doing here, instead of a square, I'm doing my curvature shape. Okay, and then draw this same shape back here, try to anyway. So it goes out, back in, out, and then I'm going to connect my lines. Okay. So that's how I draw a warped um, cube or a rectangular prism. Okay, for this video I'm going to show you how to draw a warped cylinder, a twisted pyramid, and let's see what else can we do. Oh, a bent cone. Let's do that. Alright, so the cylinder. So remember the last video I taught you how to draw a cylinder by doing an ellipse. An ellipse. Okay. And then connecting them together. in the back curve for the solid form in the top here okay so if I wanted to do a tube or a bent cylinder what I would do is I would start with an ellipse okay again but I want to twist it so my next ellipse let's put it down here and then I'm going to connect it with a curve like so Now. 
piece of mac and cheese, huh? Mac and cheese. All right. Let's do another one of those. So I got our lips. Let's put it, look, we put it way over here, huh? Let's go crazy. Connect it to that cylinder. Then I come back. You can, I mean, you can leave it kind of wavy, but you want to go too crazy because they are stretchy and warpy anyway, right? But I'm gonna come back and try to equalize the width within that cylinder where it was a little too skinny there, and I got fat hair. So. Okay. So that's how you. So I draw a twisted cylinder. Okay, let's do the pyramid next. So I taught you how to draw a pyramid last time by doing a vertical line and then an arrow. Okay. Then I connect up like so. And then we add a shadow here, right? Alright, so to twist the pyramid what you do is you instead of doing a vertical line do a curvy line still do our arrow going back and then I curve in come back out curve in okay curve out curve in like that Then, to do a cone, start the ellipse. Did our dot above here. This is how we did it last time. And then I'm gonna connect that line up, that line up, okay, to get our cone. And I we erase this back curve here. Alright, so then to do a twisty one, instead of having your dot right above it, do it off to the side. And that's our point, so we're going to curve it down like that, curve it down like that. This one's kind of bending in a little bit, like it's getting sucked in, I guess. All right, guys, that's how you do a, a cone that's bent, a cylinder that's a tube and uh, twist it the way you want it, and then a twisted pyramid as well. Thanks for watching.